Welcome everybody to the Game Cave. Welcome again to the Game Cave. I uh, got a couple things that I picked up that I wanted to show everybody. So uh, please stick with me for a moment as we uh, kind of put all this stuff together and kind of show you what's been going on in the past few weeks. Um, first things first, the bad news. Um, <coughs> this is my, or was, my current Nintendo situation. As you can see, this bad boy has been completely taken apart. Because the Nintendo that I was so excited to have decided to uh, die on me and that wasn't uh, so far hasn't been anything that I can fix aside from having to learn how to do some soldering or something um, I believe there's an issue where I I don't have power to the system uh, it won't turn on um, I think maybe a resistor or something is uh, out uh, I've done some some uh, research and uh, as of right now I couldn't get it to go uh, I don't have the adequate uh, tools to uh, make the fix at the moment so I'm going to keep it and maybe hopes that I could sell it or something again later uh, to fix it so as of right now uh, this was my my current situation we're gonna pack this up and get it out of your way but luckily I had come across a new system that is fully operational and together. If you had seen the uh, new Ninja Turtles uh, arcade game uh, part one that was put up when I uh, did some uh, let's play with uh, my buddy Mike Fetty, this is a system we use so this was up and running and fine. Um, I did a trade with a gentleman off of a Facebook uh, group that I'm a part of that is in my uh, local city. His name, which I have to be very thankful for, is Arturo. So thank you very much uh, for, the, uh, for the trade. I had a Nintendo 64 that I was trying to sell and uh, decided to trade him the Nintendo 64 bundle I had for his regular NES bundle. I was in a pinch and needed it, so I, I took advantage of it. What all came with this bundle, besides the, the NES, of course, was the Karate Kid for Nintendo, Blades of Steel, was a hockey game. Uh, looks like Stinger, which is a side-scroller shooter game. A soccer game called Goal. The original Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. Excited to have that. The Bugs Bunny Birthday Blowout. The ever classic Wood and Water Rage uh, Town and Country Surf Design game. So just basically surfing and skateboarding and the mixture of the two. Super Mario Brothers 2. So this now completes my Nintendo collection of Super Mario. So I have one, two, and three. A game that I personally was my favorite as a kid with excellent condition, Jackal. You might remember this game. And last but not least, a excellent copy of Zelda Gold. It is in pretty decent condition, a couple scuffing and stuff like that. I cleaned it up pretty decent, uh, got rid of the sticker and stuff like that. Um, I actually, it definitely made the bundle worth it. So glad to have that. This is my second copy. I own another copy, but it's not in good condition. This is the copy I currently own. You can see the label is very tore up here. Uh, the gold coloring is fading and stuff like that. I actually plan on seeing if I can uh, fix this up and make it look real nice somehow. Um, there's replacement labels I can get. I'll see how good those are. Um, I may think about repainting it some way if, if it's possible to get the same. If not, I'd just replace the label. So. So I'm glad that I have both copies of this and this. There was also included in this bundle was a copy of Kung Fu, which I already have. So this is a duplicate. 
Um, I have actually already given my duplicate to a friend of mine. And then there was actually a second copy of, of Mario and Duck Hunt that was in this bundle as well. I also gave that to the same friend that I gave this game to. Also in the bundle was the gray zapper. So pretty cool to have that. And uh, there was two normal Nintendo controllers. And also was the NES Max pad. So turbo controller with a joystick like feature on here that I found kind of difficult to play with. But uh, this thing is so tiny. I mean, look at this thing compared to my hands. It's so little. So just kind of kind of cool to at least have that. Um, along with all the cords and, and RF, uh, RF adapter and stuff like that. I don't need that. That kind of goes into my, my next thing. So we got the Nintendo, the games. So we can put this off to the side over here. My friend that I shared the games with uh, it's kind of a thing that we do. We kind of go back and forth and uh, kind of gives me stuff. I give him stuff that I find. So he's, he gave, kind of gave me a random packet of packaged things that were in a Nintendo. Uh, here are some uh, what I believe to be some Nintendo uh, cables. This this bag was unopened, sealed, never used before. So I used it um, to make the Ninja Turtles video and hook the system up to try and get the best quality video out of it. He also gave me a bag with a zapper in it. So he had two of them and said, what is he gonna do with two, uh, two zappers? So Chris, thank you very much. Also, he gave me a bag with random, random stuff in it, random product stuff, whatever. So we're gonna check that out. Here's a copy of the original instruction booklet for the uh, Super Mario Brothers um, and Duck Hunt. So, and it's an excellent shape. Here is what I believe, I, I looked at it before, it's a letter, it says important, please read, whatever. Um, this letter is actually, uh, comes with a cleaning kit, which is kind of cool. Um, directions how to clean and then uh, it's actually a full-on letter that basically tells you that the NES control deck has been repaired and cleaned and tested so I think they they actually sent this out to Nintendo to have it cleaned and repaired and then also telling them you can buy your your repair kit and stuff so kind of like a, a thing that not everybody has you know kind of cool so there's that stuff. There is inside here we got a an ad for Nintendo Power. It says blast more power out of your Nintendo game system. And then in here is uh, a couple of random things that basically are kind of teasing you to get it. They show you uh, little things on how to play Zelda and even on the back there's some secrets to how to do the regular uh, Mario stuff you can see that so it's kind of cool little thing there um, instruction manual on the zapper that's kind of cool everything is in really good shape like mint instruction manual on the control deck itself very good shape Shows you how to put everything together. Uh, here's the warranty information. Nothing special here, but never was filled out. It's kind of creased, but whatever. So put all this back in here. And this one, kind of excited about. This is, you might have seen a previous video in the past, but this is the full on huge poster for Nintendo that shows all the stuff. You guys might remember seeing this poster that says, now you're playing with power. How cool is that? It's the big it's the big poster that came in with the system. It has all the games that are on it that show it. So that's really cool. It's in really awesome shape, basically never used. And then a couple repeats that include uh, 
a couple more zapper books and stuff. There's actually, what's cool here is actually a receipt from Nintendo showing that uh, the thing was repaired. And on the receipt it says that they repaired the control deck assembly, adapter complete AC. It cost them 30 bucks to repair it, but it was covered under warranty, so there was no balance. So it was just kind of a little random thing there. And I, I don't know if that was, my friend said that he got it from his aunt who was buying him stuff at rummage sales. So it could be theirs, it could be his aunt's, who knows, but that's kind of cool. These, these are really, really kind of cool random things that I wouldn't think to, to find or buy or have. So it's kind of cool to have that all together. Um, also, I did some uh, looking around at uh, Goodwill for the first few times. Uh, this is my second time going to Goodwill and I got a Game Boy game that says it's uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. So I can get in there without losing some light. So this is a random one I just happened to find stashed away in the random electronics. Uh, also, you know, I was only 50 cents. Who can go wrong for 50 cents? Who cares? Just add to the collection, whatever. Um, I also picked up a PlayStation uh, cable. I needed an extra one because I am selling a current PlayStation 2 uh, system and didn't want to have to give up one just to sell it, put it all together. So I picked up an extra cable for a PlayStation 2 to add to that bundle that I'm selling a cool PlayStation 2 controller that's actually semi see-through in black. So if you can see that, it's uh, it's really cool to kind of see through stuff or whatever. It's uh, it's actually, and it's in like really good shape, really responsive and everything. It's almost like a brand new controller. And then last but not least from Goodwill, in the showcase was this PS3 game that I saw. Now immediately when I'm seeing stuff like this, it's like, oh, RPG, it must be something really cool or, or anything like that. Um, I've done some, uh, I've done some research on it, and I, I think the pronunciation is Atelier uh, Miru. I could be saying that completely wrong. And it's basically a, uh, an RPG from NIS America. Uh, a friend of mine tells me that they are um, known for short RPGs, but definitely something that's not uh, from Square or anybody like that. Um, but at the same time I've done some research, I've noticed that there's kind of some uh, questionable scenes in this game um, so who knows I haven't played it yet I thought I'd give it a try at some point it might be something rare I was told it's a decent pickup so yeah why not whatever you know so that's kind of a cool thing to find so these were the goodwill things this is the stuff that I got from my buddy and then this is the stuff from the, uh, the trade uh, I ordered a couple of things and uh, let's see what we got here ah yes Okay, so for a while I was having an issue with my Nintendo, or I was starting to, and I wanted to make sure I had an AC adapter. So here's an AC adapter that I purchased. So uh, I have it ready basically to go with the, uh, the other Nintendo bundle um, if, I, if I choose to sell it after I fix it. So I picked up an AC adapter that came in beat up there I'm not too happy about that but it's not too bad uh, and then also I did um, a possible future game that I'm looking into I picked up I tried to order Robocop for the Super Nintendo and they sent me an uh, NES copy of Robocop 3 uh, so I was a little upset about that sent the guy a message and he said it was a mistake and he decided to try and send me another one. So we got Robocop 3 for the Nintendo. A few days later, he sent me first class, what I was actually looking for, and that's Robocop 3 for the Super Nintendo. Um, and he worked out a deal with me where he said that basically for my troubles, I could keep the other one as well. So I was like, sure, why not? So, so here it is. This is pretty much all the new stuff that I picked up uh, recently. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what we do with this stuff. Um, so looking forward to new stuff to play and, uh, 
and just adding to the collection. So it's kind of cool new things. So I hope you, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stuff that I got. If you see anything you like or want to comment on, please by all means, uh, I'd love to, love to talk about it. If there's any suggestions or anything, I, I played a few of the games to test them. I've already cleaned everything, made sure it works, and. Uh, I really appreciate the time that you spent uh, watching this video and seeing the stuff that we got and hopefully we'll be using it in the near future for some, some other videos. So thank you again, I appreciate it and uh, you guys have a great day.